Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living and Mayhem Preparedness. Want to show you what we're working on today. Just got back home and I'm getting ready to cycle through and replace some of the stuff that the Hooch bought to fill in holes in our deep pantry. I don't want people to really think of this as a prepping pantry because we put all of our everyday stuff down here and we cycle through it as well. So you'll see uh, if we use cans of beans, cans of olives, stuff like that. We cycle through everything and we rotate and continue the process. So everything stays new and fresh or as fresh as can be and then we draw from it. Now, that being said, instead of having two cans of it like some people have, I might have 24 cans of it. And again, you put it through, you draw through it. I know if we're going to be using like beans, corn, green beans, something like that, I could have two cases of it and draw from it and none of that stuff will come even close to, close to the best buy date on the top. The dates on the top are not expiration. They're best buy dates. And so you have to bear that in mind like uh, this one right here, this is, you might not be able to see it, it's really faint. Uh, this is uh, evaporated milk. Uh, this stuff keeps for a very long time. It has a 2021 expiration date on it. I would be willing to drink this or use this for cooking or for kids, something like that, uh, a year or so out. Probably a year. Uh, because. They do tend to get like a metallic taste if, if they are in the can, and there is a loss of nutrients. So you're going to lose some vitamins, and uh, it will be less nutrient dense. Uh, it will still fill you up, it just won't be as nutrient dense. Hence, you should also be uh, setting aside uh, some sort of uh, whatever multivitamins that you take. You should have extra bottle or two. I know it can get pricey but that's why we do it a little bit at a time. I do extra things to for side jobs like a lot of the chickens uh, eggs that we sell. I usually have fifty dollars a week left over to put back into this so I can do it at a different pace and I also have the land to do the chickens to justify to do this. So it all depends on your level of comfort and where you are. More to come. Okay guys, now we're back and I want to show you what we got. This is some of the stuff that she purchased. Ah, she likes to drink these. Um, I know they're not the healthiest, but uh, she likes it. So if there's something you like, make sure you have enough of it for a month or so. She drinks one of these a day, uh, a little bit less than one of these a day. So a case of uh, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, yeah, will last almost a month. So we're going to rotate these out. As you can see over here that she has, she's actually drank less this month of them. And so there's about three or four left in here. Two. And she just pulled one out this morning. So we'll cycle those through and continue. She likes Dr. Peppers, so we keep a case or two of Dr. Peppers on hand down here out of the way. Now, back to the stuff that you eat. Um, baked beans, she likes those. We go through them. Uh, the tuna, the canned chicken. I have to say, we've started trying different brands of canned chicken, and the canned chicken is actually pretty dang good. I was very impressed with the canned chicken and I'll show you. I have bought the cheapest and I have bought the most expensive and I cannot tell a difference. This is a Clover Valley uh, two pack. I'm going to say this is five dollars so that makes them about two fifty a can. This stuff is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, so we're going to cycle that through. It looks like I have four cans of that to go through. Sam's Club, Walmart 
it just depends on where you can get the best buy if you're one of those uh, food club places uh, big box do those you can also have it delivered to your house the way everything is going now but tuna mayonnaise baked beans this is all stuff that we go through regularly now you would not consider this prepping essentials or anything like that um, they're good crackers uh, you know it's kind of high in carbs and sodium but we eat these on occasion so we have a few extra bags down here again this is a deep pantry we do this we have the room to do this so more to come guys okay guys now I want to show you this corned beef if you don't like corned beef don't buy it. I happen to like corned beef very much. My wife likes it a little bit. So we buy a few cans of it and set it aside. This stuff lasts very, very long time. It's not terribly expensive. Um, hang on, I will show you. Now, get us into focus. March 21st, 2021. That is a best before it's still edible it's still good it's just best if you eat it before that date because then you begin to have a, a nutrient loss I would eat this a year out easily no problem at all again we don't eat it that often so five or six cans will last a long time as we use one she makes a note of it and I'll show you We have a food pantry log and everything is categorized so when I finish here I'm going to actually have to update this some because I put in new shelves but as these things are added to we'll do tick marks now you can do an Excel spreadsheet uh, go to the Latter-day Saints websites to their uh, uh, the Bishop's House stuff you can get downloadable PDFs that you can just plug in I like old school graph paper and I make a log of it fold it up it's got a space on a counter on a shelf and there it sits as something is brought in as something is taken out when the hooch uses something you can see up here well that's kind of hard to see that let's move down here I'll show you as something is used I tell her not to bring everything to the front so when I get down here I'll take an inventory I'll say oh we have one two three containers of chicken broth have been used so I know that we need to replace these three we did uh, chicken and dressing and had everybody over a couple of weeks ago so that needs to be pulled and replaced we have a good bit of it and when we pull we'll put the new stuff at the back but the old stuff, bring it to the front here. The same with spaghetti sauce. We had uh, my parents and some and a friend over last night. She pulled from this, got two cans. She likes the already packaged made spaghetti sauce, which is fine over right here. But in a pinch, we have probably about 50 jars of tomatoes left uh, that we can use to make... Uh, spaghetti sauce and we also put in usually one quart of spaghetti sauce or one quart of the uh, uh, canned tomatoes in there anyway so this is how we do our deep pantry and our rotation is this long-term food storage I'm gonna say roundabout no it is not but this stuff long term to me is a very long time dang near everything down here will last two years as it sits on the shelf um, it just it will extend itself a, a lot longer someone had made a very good point that a lot of the uh, uh, the dry goods and everything they do not last that long in the cardboard boxes that is indeed correct now we cycle through them pretty quick so this stuff is not down here very much uh, again pasta 
really, really high in carbs. I try not to eat a lot of carbs since I do mostly keto. So, that is something that I get for everybody else. But in a pinch, when there's an emergency, I tell you what, carbs are good comfort food. You can make a big thing of macaroni and cheese, and then you can do a, like a dirty macaroni and cheese, put in some uh, beef crumble that is uh, from your long-term storage. And it does really, really good. There we go. Um, as well as cake mixes and everything. It's coming up on holiday season, so we are stockpiling and storing enough to uh, get us through. Um, more to come. Okay guys, now we're back. I wanted to show you this is the stuff that I consider long-term food storage. This is dehydrated. Uh, food that we have vacuum sealed and oxygen absorbers protecting it uh, from uh, from oxygen and this stuff will last a very very long time these are pastas uh, dehydrated meats uh, dehydrated uh, fruits and vegetables gosh um, there's a year's worth of coffee in there for two people two cups a day uh, just all kinds of different things hard candies that'll last a long time for children uh, powdered milk stuff like that long-term stuff as well as a buttload of spices because you can only eat so much beans and rice so you better have a whole lot of spices to make it edible um, just to make it taste better more to come Okay guys, now we're back. So that is how we do it. Uh, there's a lot of different names uh, people call it. You can do copy canning, doubling, double canning. Basically it is what you can afford to do. It is what you are looking to do. You need to sit down and figure out uh, several things. Uh, the first being, what are you planning for? Uh, you know, if you're planning for like a zombie apocalypse, well, <laughs> good luck with you with that. Um, it's kind of silly, but hey, if you plan for a zombie apocalypse, I guess it's also good for when you have a tornado or a hurricane. What's coming up through the Gulf right now? There you go. Hurricane. So, having some extra food set aside as well as gas and a generator, uh, a couple of radios, will go a long way to getting you through that possible disaster. That is what we do this for. who you're planning for, what you're planning for, and then begin to flesh out your plan. Write it down. It's a good way to do it. We'll, we'll actually write this down and uh, we'll sit down and I'll show you how to figure it all out. It's not too hard to do. It's really easy. And you can expand and expand. How many people? There's another good question. How many people are you expanding? Or are you planning on uh, being able to accommodate reasonably. Do they have any dietary concerns? Uh, you know, how's the water situation? Well, we got a, we got a 16,000 gallon pool out back, so I can always draw from that, put it through my Berkey. It will use up my Berkey filters faster, but I have extra filters. And that way, that will last a very long time. I also have other places to store and get water. You can pull it off your roof. Uh, filter it good because if you have an asphalt roof you're going to be getting some petroleum uh, residue from that so it's always good to regardless of where you get the water filter actually that'll be a whole series of videos that we'll do on that anyway guys in just a second you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop over here as well as my beautiful wife on the opposite side of some videos if we are indeed your brand of wacky this video ran long I'll keep it in one part I think it's important uh, so please, if you can watch it in its entirety, maybe you'll learn something. Take care, you people.